Hey everybody, we've got an item we've never seen before. This is a pickup truck extender. Now the box is kind of beat up. Let me see if I can't pick this up and show you a, a picture of it. That's what it does. It makes the bed of your truck longer so that you can buy those long boards at the lumber store and you don't have to worry about it falling out of the truck, maybe damn it, injuring somebody and you get sued. Man, avoid all that. Get one of these truck bed extenders. They're $39 at the retail store. You can extend your truck bed by three feet. That's right, it makes your truck bed three feet longer. It hooks up to your regular receiver. Call and give me a bid on this. It's a truck extender. I know somebody wants that item. All right, also on the table, I've got a Sony Universal Remote. What's unique about this remote is it not only works your TV and your VCR, DVD player, satellite dish, and cable box, it'll also work your stereo amp, your stereo tape player, your stereo CD player. Uh, retail price on these are about $30. Call and give me a bid. Also on the table, I have a full-size component DVD player. This will plug right up to your home theater system. Um, it does not have a remote control with it, but guess what? If you get this remote, it'll work that, that DVD player. It's uh, by Spectron and it retails for $50. Now above that, I've got one of these, oh, that's a chainsaw blade sharpener. I thought for a minute there it was a miniature chop saw. It probably could be one of those too, like a dollhouse chop saw. But it's really made for sharpening chainsaw blades. That's what this little uh, angle is here, so you get the, the perfect bevel on all the tips. And retail price on this is $30. It's an electric chainsaw sharpener. I got a ceiling fan light kit. You get the globe and the fixture all for one money. In the retail store, they're 10 bucks. You call and tell me what it's worth. I've got a 1.2 horsepower dirty water pump. This is a submersible pump. Plugs right into the wall. It does have a 15 foot power cord on it so it can reach out, out to the back where the puddle is or out by the street where the puddle is. You only need about this much water for this thing to start working. Just a couple of inches, two, three inches of water. It's perfect for the monsoon season around here and you know that water doesn't run off. It, it gathers in puddles so you need a pump. Call and give me a bid. <clears throat> you know what, I found the box to this item the other day. Uh, it, this is a, actually it's a teapot. I guess you could make coffee in it but traditionally these are used to make tea. It's got a nice stainless steel chrome finish with a stay coal handle and lid. What I don't have is the little whistle that goes on the end of it. But you know what? You don't need a whistle to let you know when your tea is done. Call and give me a bid. It's a $20 retail price. Okay, on the table I got a USB cable for your iPod. One end plugs into the iPod, the other end into your computer. This is not, this is real iPod merchandise. So that means it's expensive. It retails for about $15 and it's white so it'll match your white iPod. Now, I also have a white CD player. This is a GPX. You can buy these in the Family Dollar Store for $12.97. Uh, I've got one on this table. It's guaranteed. Put your CD player in there. It comes with earbuds. It runs off batteries, or if you have an adapter, you can plug an adapter into it. Uh, it's a CD player. Get it for a bargain tonight on KBID TV. I've got a Cirrus home kit. You've got to have a Cirrus radio to use this item. So if you don't have a Cirrus radio, don't bid on that item. And I believe that's the 10 items on table number five. Let's go to the bidder board.